why I look if you guys find that phrase I use a lot annoying then tell me because I'm I, I use it a lot and it's gonna it's gonna be used a lot in future videos so watch out for that but basically let's get into it this game is called six guns it is currently available for free on the Windows market it's around 475 megabytes to download and I'm gonna tell you if it's worth the download or not now so let's get into it all right let's do this let's do this enemies you know the sh hmm. I'm not gonna speak for a while I'm gonna let you guys get the gist of it for about a minute or two then I'll start speaking about the game okay this game requires you to sign into a Windows account before you actually, how should I say, download the game, which can piss me off because I had to go and create a um, Hotmail account, make a whole this and that, and um, it got annoying, but you know, it's, it's worth it because there's a lot of good games on the market, so let's not complain, let's not complain. How should I say the game is it was designed for Android and it got ported to the PC so you can't really expect much from it you can't really expect much from any of the games on the market because mainly 80% of all the games on the App Store for Windows 8 have been ported from Android to PC so the controls aren't gonna be amazing the graphics aren't gonna be amazing but if you want a free game you want to waste some time then you know they have a lot of good games so, oh, snake fangs. like I said, the App Store has quite a few good ones. I was looking um, for, damn, I forgot the name of that game. Crap. It was Dead Something, it's a zombie game. Um, that's a really good game for Android, the graphics were amazing. I thought they would have ported that into the PC, but they didn't, which kind of, uh, you know, sucks. Um, because it was a really good game, graphics were good, controls were good. So if they did pull into the PC, it would have been great. But if you do want to play that game, it is on Facebook. So if you do have a Facebook account, you can play that game for free on Facebook, like I said. This game really was just ported into the PC. No extra credentials were added to the game. But still, it's a fun game to play. It's, it's like... If you guys remember a game called Gun on PlayStation 2, I believe it came out on Xbox 360 as well. It was a very good game. It's nothing like that. I'm just saying it's the closest because people compare this to Red Dead Redemption and it is nowhere near Red Dead. Because I have seen a few reviews on the uh, Windows market saying, oh yeah, really good, it's like Red Dead Redemption for Android. And I honestly said, no, guys, no, come on. It's a decent game, but it's nowhere near Red Dead Redemption. The closest it will get was Gun. That was a PlayStation 2 game I had to play a lot as a kid, but um, nowhere near a Dead Redemption. So don't get excited by and then download this game. It really isn't Red Dead Redemption standards. But time out of bullets. Shite. Um, if we're gonna be quick and make a review about this game, I would honestly give it out of five. That's gonna be my uh, rating system, by the way bracket bracket um, I'm just gonna you know give a game from 1 to 5 rating for a game ported from Android to PC I'm gonna give this game a 3.9 all right it's a good game it's something you would play when you have your laptop with you and you're just out and about maybe you're on a long train journey or a plane journey you'll play this game you know you wouldn't mind playing it um, like I said 3.9 out of 5 not a great score but not a bad score um like i said don't get excited because you see some people saying oh yeah red dead redemption for android basically no nowhere near red dead redemption maybe a little close to the game gun on playstation 2 about it really so don't get happy saying yeah red dead redemption this and that nope nowhere in it uh the graphics are decent the physics are shit um, and the gameplay and the story is absolute horse crap. So 
it's just a fun game you would play on your Android, not on PC. But like I said, if you have it on your PC, you won't mind playing it type game. So, would I recommend you download this game? Yes, it's a tribal game. It's not a complete shit game that you wouldn't waste your bandwidth on downloading. It's a game that, from personal preferences, it will change from person to person. Blah blah blah. That was that was very weird to say, but it will change. So maybe you will love this game and adore it. Maybe you'll think it's absolute horses crap. You know. So play it, find out. It's only 475 megabytes. My internet connection is quite slow, and it downloaded in about 15 minutes. Um, so yeah, it should download for normal people in around a couple minutes. Um, like I said, for the 9.6 million times I said it previously, 3.9 out of 5. I recommend you just go to the app market and download it, try it out, see what you think. Um, all right. It's only a sort mission to complete it, all right, cool. You can call a horse as well, so yeah, there's a horse, which is quite cool. Um, and yeah, now that you've basically seen everything, the horse, the guns, the physics, the graphics, the gameplay, um, I'm going to slowly close this video up and bid you guys farewell. Um, download it, try it, and comment down below if you think it's a worthy game to be on the app market. You know so i'm gonna be out now stay safe stay beautiful and uh of course keep subscribing to liquid illusion bag the ass to me